it doesn't work, it's going to be real embarrassing. We'll have to film another tip. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no, they just get this one. We should have done the peacock. Problem with that was that one was, went so good before we knew it, we were done. Huh, JJ? Yep. We didn't even have time to think about filming it. A combat gopher. Hey, go show them the gopher and stuff around here while this kicks. I'm a little sore. Can you see the gopher with the machine gun? Well, I'm trying to show the peacock maybe too, all together. That's worth looking at. Here's JJ's first deer. Nice little heavy. This is a big deer for here, believe it or not. We don't have like monster mule deer. We just got these little coastal bucks. Like, like here's a, another one that's not quite as mature. And then every once in a while, oops, just break that one. Doesn't matter. Every once in a while, someone gets lucky and gets a monster like this son of a gun. This is beyond huge for here. This is 20 inches, forked horn, typical coastal deer. They rarely get more than two points. And this is a little 14 year old girl first buck. So I guess she's really gonna humiliate the guys with that. So the deer are starting to come in. One guy missed a bear yesterday at 490 yards, which I was really happy about because it's 115 degrees. Okay, we're about to. What is it, like 25 minutes now? Yeah. Really? Sorry, guys. Like we just need like another two minutes, man. Let's take this out. That's good. That's a good sign. All right. I think this is gonna work. What we can do now that it's once this is off of here, it's getting hot. This will give us enough strength to be able to grind down our our horn set down to where we want it and hopefully it won't even fall into pieces again and uh, sorry I was checking this what happens if we take them all out That's a good sign, huh? Nothing fell apart. Now if I just do this one minute too early, the whole thing will fall apart again and I'll have to start all over. I think you got the idea, but I really want to show you that it really works. Because we do these tips so fast it's not really fair to you guys because the real truth is taxidermy does take some time a lot of times and we we're pretty efficient here we can get stuff knocked out pretty quick but it's still really tough to do a project in enough time that you guys don't lose interest and get bored watching it plus my computer's so slow it takes like nine hours to load it this one's going to take like 
nine hours to, to load. All right, we're getting hot. Oh, you know what we're gonna do one day for fun? We're gonna see if we can light the Bondo cup on fire. We're gonna make it so hot to see if we can burn the cup up. We almost did it the other day. I'll probably end up in jail or something. Now you notice, JJ, how Bondo always kicks like in one second when we don't want it to? Yeah. Uh-oh. How many screws did we put in? Oh, this back one. Did I put in one extra one under there? You remember? No. We didn't, right? They're all out, right? Mm hmm. Okay, back off right here. Okay. Keep your fingers crossed. We did it. Except for that part, darn it. But that doesn't matter. Flip that can, over, huh? Can you flip it over and pull it? Yeah. It can still go back on like that later. So we're still good. It worked. And this, I think, will be solid enough to hold this. So basically, what I can do now is let this kick tonight. I can come back and saw this flat. See, I did it. I did it. What I just didn't want to do, I picked it up one minute too soon. I'm just going to let that stay on there. Anyhow, that's going to fix this. You can already see that it's pretty solid. So, hey, thanks for putting up with me on Chuck's Tuesday Tips. We'll see you next week with some other fascinating yet boring project.